Hello everyone, I am the Lore Explorer and this is the Outer Wilds. Today I will go over to how to fly the shuttles left behind by the Nomai. It's actually pretty cool as actual space flight mechanics are involved, such as waiting for launch windows and firing prograde and retrograde. To start, we will head to Brittle's Hollow. You see, Brittle Hollow and all of these planets are already moving through space. So if we shoot the probe in the opposite direction, or retrograde, we just cancel out the speed we already have. Then, gravity takes over and pulls us towards the sun. We can actually use that to reach the planets closer to the sun. If we recall the shuttle with the center slot, we can plan our flight to Ash Twin. Instead of firing in the opposite direction, or retrograde, we can wait until the planet rotates 45 degrees towards the sun. Then we can fire using the left slot. We mostly cancel out the speed we have and the sun starts pulling us in. Since we didn't fire directly backwards, we still have some of our vertical velocity. This slings us around the sun, allowing us to catch up to Ash Twin. Once we get close, we are able to use the right slot to initiate the landing. Luckily, I was able to plow right through the sand stream on Ember Twin. This time, we will head to Ember Twin again to explain how to launch there. Firing retrograde really isn't an option, and we can't fire towards the sun, obviously. But we can fire away from it, and Timber Hearth is quite close. This time, we wait until the cannon is pointed in the prograde direction. We wait until it rotates another 45 degrees and use the left slot with the ball to fire the cannon. As we fly, mostly with the direction we were already going, our speed grows. And as we travel, the sun slows us down, allowing us an easy landing on Timber Hearth. For the last example, we will head to Brittle Hollow again. The most important part of the process is waiting for the launch window and alignment of the cannon. While on Brittle Hollow, if we wait until Giant's Deep is right next to us, and wait until we are pointed in the direction we are moving, and again, just wait until it rotates 45 degrees, this time we move quite quickly towards Giant's Deep. We slow down as we move past it, and Giant's Deep catches up. Again, using the right slot, we can land and fall through the atmosphere. So all in all, there are only a few things to keep in mind when trying to fly a shuttle which way you are facing when you fire, and the movement of the target you are trying to reach. Once you get used to this, it becomes actually pretty easy to fly. So have fun flying out there, and for now, this is the Lore Explorer, diving deep so you don't have to.